Assalamu alaikum. My name is Farah Haris and I'm here today to create a very simple look for you guys here. I'll be creating a warm smoky eye look for the eyes and sharing with you step by step how I do my makeup. So I hope you guys are gonna like it and let's begin. Okay guys, the first step as we all know is to prep your skin. Prepping could be done using a moisturizer which is very important. Okay, usually I do that I use my sunscreen in place of a moisturizer. Dry skinned people should use an oil based moisturizer and oil, oily skinned people should choose a moisturizer that is oil free and water based. Normally if I am going out somewhere my first step is to use a sunblock or sunscreen. The one that I use is this one right here and this one is amazing. This is by Neogen and this is a Korean sunscreen, Korean brand basically. And the next step uh, that I do is apply my primer and the foundation and so on. But right now as I won't be going out anywhere, I use normal moisturizer use on my skin. And this one here is also a Korean uh, brand basically. This is called I am from and the cream is called vitamin tree water gel this right here and this is for oily skin because my oily and sensitive skin hai, toh, this works so good for me and this does not make you oily at all and it like deeply hydrates the skin as well so I am just going to start off by applying some of this onto my face guys uh, next I will be using this Mana Beauty Spirit gorgeous lip tint just to bring a little color onto my lips I usually do that uh, it also kind of moisturizes the lips not too much but it just gives you a nice color like a very natural and a nice shade okay guys next step is priming your skin if you want that your makeup will stay the whole day besides it also helps you in filling in your pores and fine lines and I am going to be using Beautify by Amna's Pore Fade Primer here. This is the amount of primer that I took, almost a pea sized. I don't use too much primer basically. I just take some on my fingers and rub it, especially in the regions where I feel that I have more oil. And that is usually the T zone. You can apply it onto your fine lines, where face par hai, hai? That could be the smile lines here and the pores that are usually in this region. Then eyebrows ke liye, I usually use an angled brush which looks something like this. I also make use of a spoolie so that whatever I powder or gel kuch bhi apne eyebrows, pe, wo se blend out. Ho other than that, I also at times use this Miniso's eyebrow pencil, which is also very good. It comes with three things: uh, a spoolie, ठीक है. There's the sponge thingy, जिसके ऊपर shade होता है, and then this thing, जिसके अंदर pencil होती है, जिससे you can fill in your brows. Other than that, you can also make use of the pomades, जो कि इस तरह के होते हैं, liquid, and you can also make use of the brow powders, which looks something like this. And I'll be using this one for today's look. What I do is I just try to fill into my brows first. But when I natural shape of brows, I just enhance it. You can clearly see the difference already. Okay, what I do over here. I just do uh, upward strokes and I don't do it like this because it looks fake lagta hai. otherwise so for a natural look ke liye, you should just do something like this keeping a very light hand and that's about it so I'll be using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer this one is in the shade Light Sand uh, I usually take some on the back of my hand Uske ilawa, I will take again an angled brush, something like this, or is se jo hai, shape kar lungi ya carve out kar lungi, hai? So I just dip my brush in the concealer, and usually I start from this region, jahan se main isko neat karna start karti hu. So 
something like this. I'm just bringing it down back in again just squeeze it or something. I don't want an arch, I'm just round shape. Chahiye. So this is about it. Make use of a fluffier brush which looks something like this. This one is by Morphe. And I'm just going to blend this concealer into my skin. You can use a sponge as well. Beautify my has those mini sponges which are definitely going to be amazing for the smaller areas. Just see your uncle you know, blending I think I should make use of a smaller brush, but it's okay. It's like almost blended. Is to color correct. I usually don't color correct, okay? But at times I do, and so I just want to share how I do it. Um, I ordered this Golden Rose Key palette in the summers, so when it came, the two of these shades kind of melted off, but it is amazing. There's also another peachy shade that I use, I think that is by LA Girl something. I can't find it right now. Uske ilawa mein ye Becca ka. Um, use karti hu. it is called under eye brightening corrector and this is also a peachy shade hai, so this is also under eyes ko brighten up and color correct bhi kar deta hai. but right now I am going to make use of the golden rose palette which is the normal dark circles hote hai, wo peach corrector use kiya kare, hai? and which is very bluey and purple se dark circles so you should use a deeper color use karna for color correcting and that is a red color Achha, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here on my ring finger because pressure is the best for the under eyes uh, because you have the minimum control over this finger baki fingers se, so I'm just going to dab it under my eye something like that you can use it on any part of your face where you see discoloration it is dark appear hai. usually it is also this region I'll do it here as well it is also this region but if you here, and this one right here is by Beautify by Anna and it is so soft, I love it. I'm just gonna dab some. I'm going to kind of blend it into my skin that I'm gonna use it. Okay, this color character is a little bit normal for this color. Like, um, shade is so that it's very orange. I'm using this yellow shade from this palette. You can use this concealer shade. I just wanted to give this a try as well. And it's kind of tacky actually, but it's sticky formula. So it's gonna stay there. For the pimples, you can use the green one. I have never used the green ever, so I'm also gonna give this a try today because I have been breaking out and there are certain days when your skin feel certain days when your skin, I don't know, whatever happens to it and reacts so badly. So I'm having one of those days. Again, I'm gonna use on top uh, the yellow one. This is like the most color corrector I've ever used in my life on my face because my skin is not feeling too good. So that's about it for the color corrector. I'm just going to go into the beauty blender again. Like it's my skin. Blend it. And on top of this, I'm going to apply my foundation. Hey guys, for the foundation, I'm going to be using Maybelline Ka Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I love this foundation. It works for some people. It doesn't work for the other. Using another foundation, this is by Sweet Touch London, and this is the Silk Effect Foundation. So I have recently tried it, uh, start kiya hai and I love it as well. I mix both foundations ko aise mix kar rahi hu, hai? and with the help of my finger, I am just going to mix them and apply them all over my face, something like that. With a beauty blender again, and I will try dabbing motion, mein try karungi blend in the skin. Don't use swiping motion. Kabhi use mat kare, Dab kare or buff kare skin mein foundation ko. I know it can be a little time taking, but this is your finish. I was other chatter foundation ka. Also, don't forget the neck, I'll come to it after my face. But if you have a foundation with buff in your hand, then you can always switch to the other hand, which I usually do. Because I get tired buffing. Once this is done, 
the next step is to do your neck but before doing that I am going to do the concealer either I use Makeup Revolution ka Conceal and Define Concealer and it is really nice I am using it in the shade C2 and I am almost out of mine so I need to get a new one okay guys the trick for the concealer is care आप ने उसको fully blend नहीं करना थोड़ा सा छोड़ देना है क्योंकि जब उसपे powder आता है तो वो उसके साथ set हो जाता है काफी अच्छे से and आप fully blend करने तो kind of आपके dark circles इतने effectively नहीं छुपते I'm going to be using the same sponge यहाँ पे मैं use कर रही हूँ Maybelline का clear glow powder compact powder basically and I love it because ये बहुत अच्छे से मेरी lines को fill in करता है and जो भी darkness या discoloration होती है इसको I'll set the rest of my face again by buffing it into my skin. And that's about it. Now let's just jump into the eye makeup and for that I'm just going to like prime my lids. For that I'm using Makeup Revolution concealer, this one again. And with the fluffier brush I'm just going to apply it all over my lid. And once it's done, you can set it with a loose powder. Basically, I am using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette right over here. It's called um, Butter, yes. Uh, this one right here. And I will use it as a transition shade. Okay. Transition shade, what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Transitions form. I'm going to use flat brush. I'm going to use a blending brush. I'm just going to dip the brush. Something like that. And I'm going to tap the excess off. I'm going to start from here and apply it as my transition shade and I will apply it as my transition shade I will apply it as a wind shield motion I guess so I am just going to keep doing that I am going to take some more you can always press the pigment first and then once it's done you can blend it out shade Roxanne which is this one and I am using my favorite brush ever and this one is by Color Studio and this brush is so amazing I cannot tell you this is like the best blending brush that I have ever used it is better than Morphe it is better than like all sorts of brushes that I have tried so far so I will pack it on the brush on the shade something is going on, it's a little bit above it, I will apply it a little bit down so that there will be a little transition in the eye I am just going to pack this first a little and then I am going to start blending and I am going to try to keep it in the outer area of my eye and I will not take it inside so I am just going to blend it and I think I need to pack on some more shade something like this Okay guys, once you're done applying it, I'll use another cleaner, fluffier brush to actually blend the edges so that it will be a softer look. Next I'm going in with the shade called Hunts and this is the shade. I'm just going to apply this here on top of Roxanne. And again, once I apply this, I'm going to go in with the fluffier blending brush and blend it out. You can use a smaller blending brush as well. You have something like this. I'm going to go back in the shade Roxanne, and I'm going to put lower lash line on the lower lash line. My brush is too big for the lower lash line, but it's okay. I'm going to use it. I'm just going to connect it with the top edge of the brush. Because we're making a smoky eye over here, so I'm going to use these two brown colors. One is called Mocha and the other is Chip. First, I'm Mocha. And I'm going to apply it in V shape. And here, I'm not going to go higher.
now that I'm done with the application of matte shades, I'm going to go and apply a shimmer shade. Shimmer shade ki application ke liye is tarah ka aap ek flat brush use kiya kare. Is se wo zada achche se lagte hain kyunki aap usko stamp on kar rahe hote hain. Other than that, uh, you can always spray your brush with water, rose water, any fix plus. Jo shade mein I use karne lagi hu, it's called SBN. Uh, this palette comes with so many pretty shimmer shades so I'm just going to go in with the SBN shade here and I'm just going to oh guys I'm going to apply the shimmer shade over here and I'm not cutting my crease or anything this is a very simple look you can always make use of your fingers because it a very good pigment on your lid ke upar lagta hai. That's about it. I'm going to apply the same shade onto my lower lash line. Ka ye belly. Wala area. The inner part of the lower lash line. Okay guys, next I am just going to apply this highlighter by Sleek Cosmetics. Ye Sleek Makeup ki palette hai, which I'm using. Iska I'll use this golden shade. And I'll just apply it onto my brow bone right here so I'm going to use lashes by lash X by Sadaf and this is uh, what they look like these are in the style amber Achha, how I apply mine is I apply the glue I let it dry for about 30 seconds and then I just apply it at the center like this combine the end part and the front part with the help of the tweezers once it's done then I use my fingers and attach you can use a black liner you can use a white one totally up to you bronzer here and use this sort of a brush I just already dipped it you all know that if you think that it looks a little bit harsh, then you use your beauty blender and it will buff it. And your beauty blender will be harsh, it will be a little bit of a tone down. Okay, for the nose, I am going to use a fluffier brush like this. And just sides, as you can see this line, I will apply some here and apply here. And bring it down as well. Oops. Over here. On to nose ki sides. So that the nak thodi si. Isse choti lagti hai. Aur idhar se karein to nak thodi apki. Yahan se choti lagti hai. So I'm just going to blend it downwards. Isse. And then I use my finger to tone it down. And blend it into my skin. I'm going to use blush skinny I'm using this NYX key sweet cheeks palette guys next I'm going to dip into this sleek palette and apply my highlighter using this golden rose power brush don't mind my touch please I'm using NYX Cosmetics Key Lip Color and Lip Liner. It is a matte liquid lipstick and it is in the shade Peachy and this is how it looks like. 
So I'm first going to line my lips using the lip liner. The final step is to lock everything that you just did and that is by using the setting spray I'm using Mario Badescu's uh, facial spray here Mackie Fix Plus B I really like a lot and the trick is to like literally drench your face in it ठीक है जब वो dry होता है तो आपका जो makeup है वो skin में बहुत अच्छे से absorb हो जाता है और even if you have a cakey face ठीक है तो वो आपकी skin में काफी अच्छे से absorb हो जाता है और powdery effect या powdery look बिल्कुल भी आपका makeup नहीं देता right now I'm not going to use too much of it because I'm not going out somewhere but I'm just going to like drizzle some on and I usually do it on the lower part of my face क्योंकि I don't want the eyes to get wet or something so I'm just going to do it like this and that's about it I'm just going to let it dry and then I'll be right back hey guys so I just took off the headband and this here is the final look if you did like it though, don't forget to subscribe to my channel Since the look is done, I might as well use some filters and I think I just messed up quite a little over here with the blue but other than that, I think it's fine so let me know and in my posts, when I post a picture of this look on my Instagram and take care guys and I love this